Today we're learning how to crochet the aligned cobble stitch. To begin, chain in multiples of 2 plus 2. Let's move on to row 1. So to begin, you need to skip that first chain from your hook and crochet one single crochet in that second chain from your hook. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through. You should have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. You've just created a single crochet. Now crochet another single crochet in that next chain stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. There you go. So continue crocheting one single crochet into every chain stitch all the way across till you reach the very end of this row. Once you reach the end of row one, it's time to move on to row two. To begin, chain one. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your crochet hook. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. Now crochet a single crochet in that same stitch as the chain one. So the first stitch. Now crochet a triple crochet in that next stitch. So to crochet a triple crochet in that next stitch, you'll want to yarn over twice. So one, two, then insert your hook in that next stitch. Yarn over, pull back through. You should have four loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through those first two loops on your hook. This will leave you with three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through those first two loops on your hook. Leaving you with two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through those last two loops on your crochet hook. This completes your triple crochet. Then crochet a single crochet in that next stitch. So remember, insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops. So you'll want to continue repeating the pattern of crocheting a triple crochet in that next stitch then a single crochet in the following stitch all the way across till you reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row 2, it's time to move on to row 3. To begin, chain 1. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. Now crochet a single crochet in that first stitch. Then crochet single crochet in the top of that next triple crochet. There you go. So continue repeating the pattern of crocheting one single crochet in the next single crochet and one single crochet in the next triple crochet all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row three, I want to continue repeating row 2 and 3 until you've reached your desired length. This is how the aligned cobble stitch starts to look after you've repeated row 2 and 3 multiple times. Due to the combination of triple and single crochets, a bubble-like texture is created which results in a fun and quirky finished design. There's many reasons I absolutely love this stitch, one of which being that I find this the ideal stitch for crochet newbies to give a go as it is fairly simple to learn and master. Another perk about this stitch is that the back of your work always remains nice and neat, which works perfectly when crocheting pretty shawls and chunky afghans. Be sure to check out my blog, hopefulhoney.com, for lots of free crochet patterns. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe.